Hola, mis amores. We've hit 2K. Yoo! Thank you for being here and being part of my life. Love you lots. Now that autumn is upon us and we are starting to have cooler nights, soon we'll be wanting sofa, blanket and a film to feel cosy and warm. So today I'm going to make something cosy and warm, perfect for those colder nights. This is a mould which I got on Timu. It will be my first time making it and I just know it's going to look stunning in my sitting room. I'm going to make two, one with Ecopore and the other with resin. For this first one I'm going to use Just For You Online Ecopore. I love this stuff and for this project it's perfect. I'll be using white pigment from Homeware Designs as I want it to be really white. Ecopore is a whitish grey. Well, to me it is. That's what it looks like, like a whitish grey. I have my powder and my water prepared. I'll leave in the description box everything I'm using plus any discount codes that I have too. Mix everything up till you have a homogeneous consistency. I'm going to add quite a bit of pigment. Make sure you shake your bottles first, then add a good squirt into your mixture and continue to mix it in. This is ready to be poured. Make sure to tap and squidge your mould to eliminate trapped bubbles. Once these are all cured, I'll need to repeat two parts of this mould, one rooftop and one lateral side. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty, as Ecopore is safe and any overpour will be easy to break off. These are ready to demold. And then, yup, you guessed it, I pulled too hard and broke it. Yeah, make sure to, do, just make sure to demold them carefully, not to be clumsy like Mary Banana Hammock, but it's okay, we can fix it. I'm using the edge of my tweezers to knock out the overpour, which is really easy to do, as it is so thin it snaps right off. I need to do it to all of them. If you have any sharp or uneven edges, just sand them down. Make sure to leave them to completely dry for a day or two before you seal them. These have completely dried and it's time to fix this piece. I'll be using E6000 plus glue and a disposable brush. Dab glue all over the edges that broke off and place the broken piece back on. Put it to one side till it's completely dry. This is the base. Ignore the center as I stuck my chubby fingers into it before it was totally dry. But it's fine as it is because it's not going to be seen because it's going to be in the inside. It's now time to stick down the sides. Using the same glue, dab along the rim you need to stick down. This will have three sides in total as we need to be able to get inside. You could actually put all four sides and the roof just come up, down, up, down. I'm so clumsy, I need to stick my roof down because I'll just knock it over. Keep adding the pieces till you have a box-like cube. Leave it to dry. Now for the rooftop. Add more glue, making sure you do it to the correct sides. I'm using this tray box to help it to hold it into place whilst it's drying. I'm going to use a glue gun, which I hate. I'm too clumsy and glue guns and me, we do not have a friendly relationship. Now that everything is dry, we need to add the roof. I'm going back in with my glue and adding it to all the top edges. Place the roof down firmly and leave it to dry. The good thing about Ecopore is that you can actually use real candles as it can withhold the heat. Before I show you the end result, let's make one with resin. As resin takes longer to cure, I've placed my moulds on top of the box so that I can then put them to one side and have space to do other projects. <laughs> and this was a total mistake. I'm going to be using Estoyo 1 to 1 by Volume. This resin has a medium viscosity, not too thick, not too thin. I've already mixed the resin with my Estoyo mixer and I prepared 105ml of A and 105ml of B. I'm going to be using these iridescent flakes, which are chunky glitter really. 
I'm just going for a simple one, but I will be adding quite a bit. I'm going a bit wild and adding tons of it into the resin. I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> Pouring time, or should I say disaster time? <laughs> what is the first thing you learn about resin? You need a flat surface. Such a rookie mistake on my behalf. <laughs> So, of course, it's pouring over the side and I'm freaking out and screaming EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! What a mess! So, I've put the moulds on my levelling table with its bright green silicone mat. Sorry if it hurts your eyes. Pour all the mixture into your moulds and breathe. Ah, <sighs> much better. Leave them to cure. Remember, you need to repeat two of the moulds, one roof and one of the sides. These are ready to demould. I'm using a scalpel to eliminate any excess, which is really easy to pull off or just cut out. I won't bore you with the mounting and the gluing, yet funny enough, it was easier to mount and I didn't need my glue gun. Please, please do not use real candles with resin. Use a tea light as resin isn't heat resistant. Keep watching for the end results. Toodles!